Hey Mustangs, I'm going to show you how to do the metal initial today. So you should already have a sketch idea of your letter as well as a piece of either silver or brass foil. Mine is small because I uh, am just doing a quick demonstration. You should have a piece of felt and then a wooden stick. There's also masking tape in your box. That is to tape off the edges so that you don't give yourself a metal cut, like instead of a paper cut. Just kind of tape it on the edges. Trust me when I say you will appreciate that. A metal cut stings way worse than a paper cut. Okay, try to keep them even. So now I'm going to place my design in the center of my square and using one flat foil or flat felt, I'm just going to trace it. The felt helps to have give on the metal. And so when I pick it up, there'll be a slight indentation of my F for Flores right here. Okay, that's all I need. Again, you might put something else in this space to have that balance of positive and negative, but the smaller the foil, uh, the less you can add to it. So now what I'm going to do is fold up my felt into fours. You might do it one more time, uh, depending on how squishy you feel you'd like your letter to pop out. So now I'm going to use actually the back of my tool and start pushing my, oh, you know what? Make sure you do it the right way. If I want my F to stand out, I need to flip it to the back. I did that on purpose. Because otherwise your letter is going to be backwards popped out. And nobody wants that. So that initial, you really want to be the focal point or the emphasis of your art. If you have some extra space, you might have added like a triangle or a heart. But try to keep it really simple because this is a complex technique. Because you have to go back and forth a lot to really, really make it stand out. So I've done the initial pressing. I'm going to flip it back over and as you can see, it's starting to become three-dimensional. What I do after that is I go back in and define my letter because you can see it's lost some of the definition. And you do that by using the pointed edge of your wooden stick. The other way to define your letter and your shape is to use the back of your stick on this side. So you're pushing the empty space away from your letter, that's the negative space, so that your letter comes forward. And if you notice, like here, there's like an indentation, I'm going to flip it back, and I'm going to press it back out so that I can really see that it's an F. I also use the pointed side on here. Now, if you push too hard, you can push right through the metal and put a hole in it. That's okay. But the defining is what will really make your letter stand out or your heart or whatever. And flip it back. As you can see, now it's beginning to look three-dimensional. I suggest working a little bit more back and forth until you are super happy with your results. Then, if you would like, you can add some India ink to the background to really make your initial stand out. The last step to really refining your letters is to take it off that felt and put it on a flat surface and really push back all of the background. 
and you'll start to really see your letter and your pattern and design stand out. Make sure you go all the way to the edge. You might get a few creases and that's fine. That's the nature of metal. It only moves so much one way. It's malleable, but not as malleable as sometimes we would like it to be, especially without heat. So now my letter is really standing out. Now is the time I have the option to add my India ink. And I did that to this one to make my letter stand out. It's kind of hard. There you go. I was going to say the reflection. So I'm just going to paint it in the back. And this is two layers. So you'll find the first time you add the ink, it doesn't necessarily lay flat. Like see how it's starting to move in? So you kind of have to work with that and be patient. Once you put this down, it does take a long time to dry. And it does dry a little sticky. I'll put like an acrylic spray over it so that it doesn't get all over your fingers and sticky in your backpack whenever y'all take it home. So you put your first layer down and then you let it dry. And then if you don't like it, like if you want a darker, then you can add another layer to it. And I always suggest, as you can see, it starts to pool, but it kind of gives it a nice effect. So it's kind of like a tarnished or patinaed look to the metal. A patina is kind of like a stain you put on metal to turn it colors. So we're turning our backgrounds black to really make our initials stand out. 